Today's drug is methylprednisolone, brand names Medril Dose Pack and Depomedril. The pharmacologic and therapeutic class is a systemic corticosteroid. Dosage form and strength. Methylprednisolone comes as an injectable solution in a 40 mg per dose, 125 mg per dose, 500 mg per dose, 1 gram per dose, and 2 gram per dose strength. It also comes as an injectable suspension in a 40 mg per milliliter and 80 mg per milliliter strength. It also comes as a tablet in a 4 mg, 8 mg, 16 mg, and 32 mg strength. Indication and dosing for adults. The first indication is for various conditions that are corticosteroid responsive. The treatment dosing range is between 4 and 48 mg per day taken by mouth, divided 1 to 4 times daily. An alternative dosing regimen is the prepackaged dose pack, where 24 mg is taken on day 1, then decreased by 4 mg per day every 5 days, and if long-term use or if high doses are used, discontinue gradually. The next indication is for acute asthma. In emergency department management, the treatment dosing range is between 40 and 80 mg per day taken by mouth divided 1 to 2 times daily until the peak flow is 70% predicted. In the outpatient setting, the treatment dosing range is between 40 and 60 mg per day taken by mouth divided 1 to 2 times daily for 3 to 10 days. The next indication is for severe persistent asthma. The treatment dosing range is between 7.5 and 60 mg by mouth every day or every other day. Another indication is for acute gout. The dose pack dosing of 24 mg by mouth on day 1, then a gradual decrease of 4 mg per day over the next 5 days. Another indication is for acute exacerbation of multiple sclerosis. The treatment dosing range is between 500 and 1,000 mg by mouth every day for 3 to 5 days. An off-label use is for acute alcoholic hepatitis. The treatment dosing range is between 10 and 12 mg taken by mouth 3 times daily. Indications and dosing for pediatrics. The first indication is for various conditions that are corticosteroid responsive. The treatment dosing range is between 0.5 and 1.7 mg per kilogram per day by mouth divided every 6 to 12 hours. An alternative dosing is using the dose pack. Start with 24 mg per day and decrease by 4 mg every day over 6 days. The next indication is for acute asthma. In emergency department management, the treatment dosing range is between 1 to 2 mg per kilogram per day, divided 1 to 2 times daily, with a max of 60 mg per day, and this is continued until peak flow is 70% predicted. In the outpatient setting, the treatment dosing range is between 1 and 2 mg per kilogram per day, taken by mouth and divided 1 to 2 times daily for 3 to 10 days, with a max of 60 mg per day. The last indication in pediatrics is for severe persistent asthma. The treatment dosing range is between 0.25 and 2 mg per kilogram per dose taken by mouth every day or every other day with a max of 60 mg per day. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology The mechanism of action is methylprednisolone X in a tissue-specific manner as a corticosteroid. It regulates gene expression by binding to specific intracellular receptors and translocates into the nucleus. As a corticosteroid, methylprednisolone has physiologic effects on modulating carbohydrates, proteins, and lipid metabolism. It also affects fluid and electrolyte balances. Many body systems are also affected, such as the cardiovascular, immune, musculoskeletal, endocrine, and neurologic systems. Another major effect of methylprednisolone is the decrease of inflammation through the suppression of leukocyte migration. The medication is well absorbed, it is excreted in the urine, 
The onset of action for the acetate injection is one week with a succinate injection within one hour. The time to peak if taken orally is around half an hour with possible two-hour deviations. The intravenous succinate is around 0.8 hours. The duration of action is between one to five weeks when taken as the intravenous acetate. The half-life elimination in adults if taken orally is between 1.3 and 3.7 hours and approximately half that time in adolescents. Special Populations and Considerations In elderly or obese, there is decreased clearance and increased half-life. Contraindications and cautions in the following patient types. If there has been a systemic fungal infection, in the patients that are immunosuppressed, in hypertension, CHF, recent MI, ulcerative colitis, osteoporosis, cirrhosis, as well as others. Regarding pediatrics, methylprednisolone may cause growth issues and this should be monitored. In pregnancy, caution is advised. Methylprednisolone may be associated with decreased birth weight when used during the first trimester. However, non-fluorinated corticosteroids are preferred when needed in pregnancy in situations such as treating rheumatic disorders. In regards to lactation, the medication may be used when breastfeeding, but only 8 to 12 hours after use. Side effects. Some common side effects are weight gain, appetite changes, rash, hypokalemia, elevated blood pressure, edema, dizziness, depression, nausea and vomiting, vertigo, anxiety, and glucose intolerance, as well as others. Some serious side effects are adrenal insufficiency, seizures, hypokalemic alkalosis, hypertension, CHF, and long-term use effects such as osteoporosis, cataracts, glaucoma, and immunosuppression, as well as growth suppression. Drug Interactions Some considerations for drug interactions. Methylprednisolone is a CYP3A4 substrate. There are hyperglycemic and hypertensive effects. The medication does lower seizure threshold. There are immunosuppressive effects, as well as hypokalemia. Some contraindicated drugs and drugs of note. Methylprednisolone is contraindicated with live immunizations, such as the adenovirus, cholera, typhoid, varicella, yellow fever, and MMR vaccinations. Avoid drugs such as amphotericin, furosemide, mitodrine, and ritonavir. Monitoring parameters. Monitor electrolytes, blood pressure, weight, and glucose. And in patients with long-term usage, conduct chest x-rays, ophthalmic exams, and bone mineral density in the ages 65 years and older. Patient counseling information. Methylprednisolone can be used for many indications, which are as follows. Arthritis, blood disorders, severe allergic reactions, certain cancers, eye conditions, diseases of the skin, kidneys, intestines, and lungs, as well as in immune system disorders. Methylprednisolone is most commonly associated with the treatment of asthma, allergy signs, blood problems, rashes, or swelling. Common side effects are upset stomach, trouble sleeping, restlessness, and headache. When taking the medication by mouth, it should be taken with food or milk.